Welcome back to another part of Death Stranding Director's Cut. If you do enjoy this, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's get it. Okay. So we are well on our way to this location right here. Our boots is looking good. Our load is looking fine. Uh, this is a crater area that we're going to right now. Which could be a very dangerous. But nonetheless, we have to do it. It's uh, one of our main quests. You can also see our stamina is almost halfway, dude. So not, not the greatest experience. Yes, and our battery is empty. We can grab stuff like this on our way back, I assume. Put it in our private locker. Nice. There is going to be BTs over here, so... It will be something we have to deal with, unfortunately. Come on, baby. Point me in the right direction. Yeah, we do. We got some more data over here. So somewhere here will be most probably cargo that we need to get. Might need to double check what our quest is. Oh, it's just to get to this location. There's a location inside the crater? What the heck? What are they thinking, man? I think we just have to run around this dome until we find an entrance. My character's like half walking. And when you tell it to sprint, he's literally jogging. I guess when there's BTs close by, he doesn't want to make noise. Which makes sense. We're putting the camera on this side. By the way, I'm I'm moving forward full force. Too far from support skeleton? Approaching destination. We'll grab this cargo. Private locker? What does this guy need from this? Nothing is highlighted. We most probably will have to look at the quest.
Wait, what? We have no quest. Uh, may oh, maybe it's the cargo I picked up that he wants. So we could, I don't know, steal something here. We can take the 100 materials. Not that it's needed, man. Like, it's just gonna add weight. Yeah. We're going up to 90 now. It's okay. Yeah, we're fine. As is. We can't take too much. We also maybe want to drink some water. Anything else here? That I'm seeing right now. Don't see anything that we need. It sucks that the machine is actually behind my cargo. Even on this camera angle. On this one it's for sure behind. But I expected this one to actually have... A little bit more line of sight on the machine. Container damaged, old wine. Mm, we'll have to use a spray, I think. It's only the container that's damaged, though, not the actual things inside of it. Hey, yeah, this wasn't spooky at all, man. It was a pretty easy location, other than finding the entrance. I think that was the main mission. Here's a dome, go find the entrance. There you go, baby. I think that's the baby making happy noises, right? Sam, looks like one of your containers has been compromised. No need to panic. So long as you don't drop it, the contents shouldn't sustain any damage. And if the cargo itself is okay, then your eval won't be affected. Just take a little extra care from here on out, and you'll be fine. Good luck. Bro, I'm out here the whole time, though. We haven't been back to the main base in a very long time. I feel like by the time we get back, the road will be done built as well. Approaching destination. It is what I'm talking about. Okay, so cargo itself will never get damaged unless you drop them after the container is damaged. That's good to know. Fragile Express ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. He really does not want to sprint, dude. This is him sprinting right now. Full blast sprinting, dude. He's getting old. He's getting tired. It's yet again because we haven't <laughs> gone back to a main location in a while. Delivering cargo. What? Are you kidding me? You actually 
went into that hell hole. Oh, you, you don't know what this means to me. Whole lot of memories in these old tools. The kind of stuff you can't replace with a chiral printer. I was giving you an impossible mission. Oh, yes. Now we're talking. Whether you see the weapons I make with these. Sam Bridges, you are incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Your wife also thinks that. So don't worry. I got you, bro. Do you think you'll be happy with that response? <laughs> now, to be fair, Fragile and her crew never did me wrong. Could say I owe them, even. If they're running with Higgs now, and that makes them as bad as him, don't it? It's as if all the motherfucking terrorists are coming together like one big happy family. <laughs> Might be time for us to do the same. Maybe there's hope for us after all. <laughs> At least if there's more folks like you in the UCA. Safety in numbers, huh? And the new America to boot. Connect me to the chiral network. He's saying it like I'm about to take his lunch money. Okay, more people connected, I guess. We got a bowler gun over here, designed for data follow. Okay, bowler gun. Right. Now that you're looking out for me, it's only fair that I look out for you. So, long as you keep me connected, I'll keep on supplying you with my best tools. And together we all might live a little longer. Oh, by the way, check out this beauty I made. It's called a bowler gun. Should keep anyone from giving you trouble for a minute. It's non-lethal, of course. I can't promise it won't leave marks, but that's on them. If you think you could use it, take it. Ebola gun, huh? That could come in handy. As is, you can use it to restrain human targets without killing them. But swap out those wires with strands spun from your blood, and it might even work on BTs. Go ahead. Give it a whirl. Okay, so we will definitely grab this gun. Let's just say, carry on back. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna move it soon, though. We're gonna... Oh, we have a bowler gun already, man. What make this gun so... Oh, that is maybe the bowler gun. <laughs> Where's the other gun? I have another one, I think. No, we do not. Okay, so we could just put this on the tool rack. And then... Since we're linked now, we can move the materials over. In private locker. Okay. And the grenade. Screw it. Turn around, bro, please. We have a new order. Ah, we're going that way anyway. Oh, man. No, I'm not doing this one. We're going there anyway, so we'll take this. And we're going there anyway, so we'll take that one also. I can't remember exactly when we're getting it. What the hell just happened? You've brought three way stations into the fold. 
The preppers are on the grid, and the Cairo network is looking better than ever. We're planning to use a regional distro center as our next way station. But that'll have to wait. Got a priority task here. A mess in need of cleaning up. We need you to recover one of Lake Knot City's system servers. They sent it out for repairs, and mules hit the transport on the way back. The server contains validation data for a new delivery system we're deploying. Once in place, it will use the Cairo network to automate deliveries. To us, it's invaluable. To the mules, it may as well be a toaster. A toaster they'll happily tear apart for the Cairo crystals and rare earth metals inside. If we don't act quickly, we could lose that data. So get your ass to the mules drop site, snatch the server, and bring it back to Lake Knot City. I'm putting the order in myself. Check your cufflinks for details. Get it together. Yeah, get it together. Exactly. Because that pop-up that came up, I couldn't I couldn't use my balance. We're gonna leave the baby to cry for a long time. It will make this part more exciting, I think. Uh, we are on our way to that location. It, there's a star as well on it. So it seems it is actually our main quest now. Uh, there is vehicles driving, so... Skin on my teeth. It would be very juicy if we can actually steal that vehicle. And I think I did that also uh, when I played the game for the first time. I don't know if we can actually get across here with our current situation we're in. What I mean by that is our energy is very low. You see the red there? If you touch that, your guy just lose all his cargo. Like literally everything. Here we crossed with ease. But wait, <laughs> there's more. Yeah, it looks like we have to go into the main city now. I guess that's the request he was talking about. Putting in the request himself. But they're on, a, on their way here. It's pretty much mandatory for us to steal a vehicle. In our current situation. Uh, we also have a gun that we could use. So we might want to... Equip that gun. Uh, by the way, your water can... Refills while you're in the water, it seems. So there's a vehicle we're gonna steal. Just gonna let me walk in and access the terminal. Oopsie. Okay then, well, uh, we got this. Dude, it's really heavy. I'm gonna most probably walk after this. No, we still have battery, so we're still jogging. So it only takes battery when you sprint, dude. That's that's something.
Bye, guys. It's an electric vehicle as well, so... What a cool quest, dude. I would have grabbed this vehicle sooner. If I knew about it. The cool thing is this thing lifts up in the water. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? It's got some cargo to drop off here. And magically everything is on my back. No. Yes, make delivery. Problem. Ooh, power level two. Oh my goodness, silver, gold, smoke grenade level two as well. Dude, what the heck? Thanks. Until next time. Good work. New order available. Please the paths we walk become roads, Sam. See the tracks you left behind? They tell a story. If you were a spy on a mission, you'd have failed. But you're not. So be proud of those tracks. They're proof that you exist. Keep leaving that proof. Let people know you're out there. Give them the courage to come together again. As you expand the network and aid your fellow Americans, you strengthen the bonds between us all and blaze a trail for them to follow. Okay. I feel like I want to give this guy everything, man. Maybe, maybe we get skeletal legs level three. There's anything else here, right? No. No. No, dude. Not gonna take those. I'm not gonna go up that huge cliff again. Thanks again for everything. Bro, you make me want to check out this level two thing, dude. Let me just do that. I guess. It costs a lot more to craft. And I don't know what the difference is between the silver, gold, or whatever. Is there a way to, like, check? Oh, yeah. Zoom, scroll, toggle, tilt. They don't really say. 
Let's see here. So this one is the speed one. We're gonna take this one. Bro, it is really expensive though. Somewhat. And then the current one we have, this one, will offload or place in lockdown. Okay. Look at these wide legs do we have, dude. The battery on this vehicle is half. But I really should have... ...grabbed the PPC. There's another vehicle here. I don't think it's drivable though. No, it's not. There's somewhat of a road. By the way, if you if you're on the road, you drive a lot faster. But the road will be created for us later. And the road will become bigger uh, as you connect more people. This battery is done for. So our parking spot is right here. And it will also charge it. Look at that, man. It's getting charged like crazy. Even our... Yeah, we're getting charged also our legs, but it's very tiny. That is a vehicle recharge parking spot, I guess. And I can imagine it will be like this in real life as well eventually. You go do your shopping while your car is charging. That would be insane, man. All parking spots is Welcome. charging your car. The Herod man said to expect you. Oh, you've got the server. Here, let me have a look at it. Nice. The great deliverer comes through again. The server's in perfect condition. It's a real relief to know all our records are safe. Thank you so much. Sam, I've added a reverse trike to the list of supplies you can fabricate. Lake Knot said he was kind enough to provide the blueprints as thanks. I'd tell you all about it, but, uh, didn't you used to have your own? Same deal. Two front wheels, one rear, battery powered. Fitted with an auto charging unit that kicks in when not in use. Requires skill to drive over obstacle strewn terrain. Best suited to long flat stretches, yada yada yada. We're working on securing you another vehicle, so you can look forward to that too. So I assume this is the level one bike, and this is what I told you guys about. To just continue on with the game, because you'll eventually get this. Then you have the long range one as well. It's two different ones. One is faster than the other one, but the other one can take more load. Or has better life span on, on battery, battery life, whatever. Yeah. 
To be honest, taking the speed run right now doesn't make sense. Thanks, Sam. With that data, we can finally move forward with our plans for the new automated delivery system. I'll tell the boys to start testing the bots right away. You'll need to take it to the distro center south of Lake Knot City. Check the delivery terminal whenever you're up for more work. The preppers had some things to say about Fragile. You sure we can trust her? That business with Higgs? Thought I told you she hates him with a passion. Enemy of my enemy as far as I'm concerned. Don't take my word for it, though. Just ask her and judge for yourself. I'd like it or not, we need her help. Sam, it's fragile. I hear you brought three preppers into the network and delivered everything they needed. That's some good work. Long as we're shooting the shit, you mind telling me what the deal is with you and Higgs? Been hearing stories, huh? I'll tell you all about it, in person. Meet me at the distro center, south of Lake Knot. You're headed there anyway, right? Good work. New order available. Please access... I want to check this bike out first, like how much would it take to craft a bike? Yo, it's pretty cheap, man. It's as cheap as the legs was to craft. Are you kidding me? Hooray. Uh, the battery will drain very quickly when the trike is in water. Okay. Let me check the other one. Uh, the battery will drain very quickly. It's the same thing, pretty much. Um... I mean, the faster one will be better for later, but not now, I guess. So I guess we'll craft the fast one. And I'll only have to craft once. And the cool thing is, if you craft a bike, you can actually select the color as well. There it is. No, no, don't dispose of it. <laughs> that was close. So let's take a rest. I'm pretty sure we will find a story somewhere there. We also have a bike now, so screw the vehicle. The car we had. It is bike time, baby. It seems like your bike also get fixed when you come take a rest. Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. So we can definitely take a poop. And take a shower. I still want a shower like this, seriously, man. That flick of a switch is so cool. I'm so tired of adjusting the, the heat in a shower. It's not even a joke. The fact that it wind drives you as well, it's so cool, man. 
Okay, so I think we gotta go to the other location now, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so we need to use this fragile jump. And then we need to get to the other location over here. Uh, they want us to go back all the way here, though, I, if I'm not mistaken. Um, okay, it looks like I'm wrong. So let, let's let's just have a look at the terminal. What our main quest is. So, yeah, our main quest is to go back to this location. So it requires us to jump. No, it's not our main quest. Main quest. So it looks like we don't have an order then, because we only have that one order left. 25 kilograms, dude, that we're carrying for no reason. Can I drop this one? How do I cancel this order? Okay, so now it's hidden. Yeah, it looks like we don't have a quest right now, so we need to go upstairs again. And I'm sure the BB will talk to us, most probably. It doesn't. So now that the quest is hidden, I don't think we're carrying the cargo with us. Okay, so we are going to fabricate equipment. I just want to check if we do have any boots. Still level 1 boots. And boots are so cheap to craft anyway. We're just gonna load it on our back, dude. Uh, we also need a PPC, man. Like, I'm so tired of not being able to charge anything. So... Uh, clay material, private locker. Uh, we, sh we don't even have a PPC there. Okay, so we'll have to craft one. Fabricate, PPC. Uh, we'll, we'll carry two on us at all times, I guess. That is just to keep us a little bit safer. Then we do have a gun. We do have extra shoes. Yeah, everything is looking good now. And we can take on our quest. Sam. A lot of clients are requesting you by name. Now, while there are orders we need you to accept, which are critical to the expansion of the Chiral Network, there are others that you can take or leave at your discretion. It goes without saying, though, that it's in everyone's best interest for you to do as much as you can. And more work means more rewards. So I told you guys we're going to do a pizza delivery, and it's right here. Um, it is this one right here. F uh, fresh pizza delivery. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we're going to take on that quest. It's not needed for us to do. Uh, only this one is required. We're gonna take all three quests. I mean, they're literally on the way to the next one. Type bot for transport. Now you'll need to take it to the distro center south of Lake Knot City. If these autonomous delivery bots prove reliable, they could revolutionize our supplies distribution network. A lot's riding on this, so be careful out there. Okay, that's all we need. We don't need any grenades or anything like that. No funny business. Make sure you carry pizzas properly at all times. If you do something stupid, like turn it on its side, you'll ruin it. So this one you want to carry on on your hand. 
Oh, carry on the back. What? Why am I carrying this? Why? Why do I need this? On the bike. What is on this bike, dude? Bro, it's not part of our main quest. So place a locker. Place a locker. I don't know why they're giving it to us. Okay, I think that's all we need, right? It looks like it. Order assigned. Delivery parameters updated. Sam, time limit set. You're gonna build new road. You need to get to the paver first. So, pizza delivery for 30 minutes. So, I guess we need to get outside first. Have a pleasant journey. Weapons restrictions are good. Sam, looks like you're coming up on that auto paver. Get it going and you'll have yourself a road in no time flat. Pizza delivery first, dude. Hint that I'm wheeling the whole time. And the reason being is because on my back I want to keep the pizza as flat as possible. Because he's leaning forward like a maniac. So it feels like the game is running on like 40 FPS or something for now. I don't know what the heck. Maybe because I'm wheeling the bike or something. There's a rainbow in the distance. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile express ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. The cargo verified. Thank you. Pizza delivery. Delivering cargo. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation. Thank you for your continued support. Really? Good work. I feel like that was added as a meme. That you are a delivery boy. Technically. Yeah, now we could go here. That's why we got the cargo. Okay, now it makes more sense. 
Uh, it's not our main quest. Technically, it's not our main quest. But they wanted us to finish that... The road. So you can actually see it being built. And I think you might need to build a part of it. So it sucks that I have to go back, but whatever, it's not a big deal. Go back to the main city, we pick up the cargo.